So I picked up these two cork boards. They're just very plain um, and frankly look yucky, but I picked them up off of some um, Facebook groups and I just wanted to make them look a little bit nicer than what they currently do. This one here has these tabs on the back of it and then this one, although it looks much cleaner, um, it also has one of these strings on the back to be able to hang up but I just I I'm sure you guys have seen these but um, on Pinterest I found um, how to kind of take fabric and make these things look prettier so I have some spare fabric here um, and they kind of complement each other with the um, teal in this one and then the teal of this this one's kind of busy, but it's really, really pretty. So I thought I would, uh, with using that, um, the tutorials, I guess, whatever you want to call them from Pinterest, I thought I would make these cork boards a little bit prettier for our kitchen command center. So I've just cut this fabric kind of bigger than the actual cork board itself because I'm going to be wrapping this around the cork board. Um, but basically I just eyeballed it. It's kind of about an inch to, well I guess that's about two inches, um, bigger than the actual cork board itself because here's the edge of it. And now I'm just going to take some thumbtacks and tack it all down. Okay, so as you can see there I've put one thumbtack here. This is just right in the corner. There's the edge of the um, cork board. And then another one about halfway, and another one at the other corner there. And then again about halfway down, and another one at the other corner, halfway, another corner, and halfway here. So what I'm going to do now is kind of try to fill in in between here um, to kind of help them secure the fabric a little bit more. It's all very approximate, but from the corner here, to the middle is about 11 and a half inches so I figured I would just do one every three inches here along the way. Okay, So as you can see I've uh, put all of the thumbtacks all the way around. I've just kind of roughed it out at, as being the same distance um, all the way around the edge of the fabric. Um, on the inside part of the cork board and now I'm going to flip it over and glue the back of it on so that it um, kind of cleans up the edges. I'm going to try this with Mod Podge. I've just got gloss Mod Podge. I actually don't think I've ever used it. My daughter has but I haven't and all I'm going to do is just cover the foam brush and put it on the wooden part all the way around including on the edges here. This is hard to do when I'm doing it through the, the camera actually. And I'm just going to do that all the way along. Kind of all the way around but I'm just going to do one edge at a time. Clearly I need more Mod Podge. Um, but just one edge at a time and then hopefully I'll be able to get the uh, the corners nice and tight as well on this. There it is. I just did the Mod Podge all the way down on this edge and the top edge here and just flipped the fabric over and I just thumbtacked it in both of the corners but I've kind of pushed this whole edge right up so it hopefully it sticks a little better with the Mod Podge. Here's what it looks like on the back after I've done it. Um, I started off with this edge here and then I just went down and I cut this one and unfortunately I cut it a little bit too short but didn't realize it till this part. Um, so not only did I Mod Podge on the actual wood but I also Mod Podged on the outside of this edge as well. Um, but then of course I learned my lesson for the rest of them. <laughs> so whatever, these ones look nice. You know, three of the, the four look nice, the other one not so nice. It doesn't matter though, it's on the back. 
So basically what I did on each corner was I wrapped it like a present um, on the corner itself. So I kind of got a nice edge there. Um, and then I just put a thumbtack in the very corner because there's extra fabric and everything there. So that'll help keep it intact in the corners. So this is what it looks like on the back. Now I've done the same thing with this teal fabric on the other cork board. Just again, kind of doing them by eye, but trying to keep them even with the thumbtacks all the way around. Um, and uh, what I did find with this fabric, because it isn't pattern fabric like the other one is, I really had to pull it quite taut. Um, to be able to make sure that it was kind of flat and even all the way around. So now I'm going to Mod Podge the back and make sure that the corners are really tight and everything so that um, it's basically finished off. Over onto the back, um, it has a different attachment to be able to hang on the wall. So all that I've done basically is just cut a little slice in here and then when I flip it over it will just kind of go around the piece like that. I was almost about to actually do the slit all the way through um, to the edge here and then realized that no I actually need the fabric to cover this part of the cork board itself or I guess of the frame side Mod Podged over um, and I just wanted to show yes okay this goes up a little bit but I'm just going to tack it down there so that it doesn't interfere with hanging the actual cork board up but there it is the fabric just un Mod Podged on this edge and this edge and I've just gone across made sure that it's nice and flat um, and then I'm just going to do that around all of the other sides there And here is the final product of the two cork boards. I am so, so pleased with how they turned out. Um, this one obviously is the one that has all the print on it. And if we just zoom in, you can see all of the um, thumbtacks there. And just to kind of tie it in a little bit more, because I mean, you can see the teal here is the same as the teal on this one, but obviously with it being a solid print, it isn't as obvious. Um, and especially in this light, it really doesn't look like it's the same. So all that I did was I actually cut out two of the, of the flowers from this print and put it in the corner here. Um, that was kind of a last minute decision. Um, sorry, I can't really get a straight on because we're right up against the other wall of the hallway here in the kitchen but there you go I am so pleased with how these turned out and they're just hung up right beside our um, wall calendar and uh, I can't wait to start covering them which sounds really weird but that's kind of the point is to keep all of our important papers up on here so I'm so pleased with how this turned out